Welcome to the first uh, video of Calculus 2, where we're going to pick up where you left off from Calculus 1 in having learned how to do integrals and how integrals uh, represent the area between the curve and the x-axis when f of x is greater than or equal to 0. We see an example of that at the beginning of example one on page uh, 115 in your text. We're going to pick up uh, from that and look at how to use integrals to find the area between two curves, um, which is the second part of example one on page 115. So let's take a look at this uh, uh, picture. So we're trying to find this uh, purple uh, shaded regions area and we are going to do that by dividing the uh, region up into a number of rectangles whose height is the uh, difference in heights between the two curves. So the height is going to be uh, the top curve, which is 2 minus x squared, uh, minus the bottom curve, which is minus 1 plus x, and if we uh, combine terms, we get that that uh, rectangle's height is x squared minus x plus 3. Actually, that should be uh, minus x squared minus x plus 3. So to determine uh, the area of uh, this region, we are going to integrate uh, rectangles of this height minus x squared minus x plus 3. The width will be getting uh, smaller and smaller and smaller so that we no longer have the error. In other words, the delta x width goes to dx. Notice that we have a little bit of overshoot error here and here and that as these rectangles get more and more uh, narrow, that error goes to zero as uh, would have proved at the very end of your Calculus 1 class. So it is, uh, 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 for, I'm sorry, we need to put the limits of integration in. Uh, the limits of integration are going to be zero to where the curves intersect. They intersect at this value here. If we move to the uh, next uh, uh, blackboard, if we set these two curves equal to each other, we can find their intersection point um, and so since this is a quadratic, we're going to put all of the terms on one side. So let's move everything to the right so that we have a positive coefficient on the x squared. So it's x squared plus x uh, minus 3 that we're setting equal to 0. And that <coughs> is going to be x equals... Uh, um, uh, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, which is plus 12 over 2, or minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 13 over 2. Only one of those two values falls in the region uh, that we're considering 0 to 2, and that is the right of uh, the one with, where we're adding the square root of 13, that value is approximately 1.3. Uh, and so we're going to uh, calculate this integral now. 0 to minus 1 plus the square root of 13 over 2 uh, minus x squared minus x plus 3. We integrate those three terms to get uh, minus x cubed over 3 minus x squared over 2 plus 3x, 0 to uh, 1 minus the square root of 13 over 2. And you see in your text that that comes out to be approximately 2.32. So we're still using the same method that you learned in, in uh, Calculus 1. We're uh, dividing the region up into a number of rectangles and we're letting the width of those rectangles go to zero and um, so this one is calculated this way. So let's consider a, uh, another problem where 
where we want to find the areas of these two regions, region 1 and region 2, and notice that the uh, top and the bottom curves change in uh, the first region, which goes between 0 and 1, where the two curves intersect. The top curve is here, 2 minus x squared, and the bottom curve is uh, uh, y equals x cubed, so that's for region 1, whereas on uh, region 2, the top curve is uh, x cubed, and uh, the bottom curve is 2 minus x squared. So we have to do uh, uh, or find these two uh, areas by uh, two integrals. Let's be clear that we're still doing the same method. We're finding rectangular uh, widths and the width or the heights of these rectangles are top curve minus bottom curve. So for region one, the area is going to be uh, the integral between zero and one of its top curve, two minus x squared minus x cubed dx and for region 2, the area that we're adding, the area is going to be the integral between 1 and 2 of the top curve minus the bottom curve. So we're subtracting 2 minus x squared. And so uh, these two integrals are uh, as below. And when we integrate term by term, we get, uh, what, 2x? minus x cubed over 3 minus x to the fourth over 4 evaluated between uh, 0 and 1 and then in the second integral x we get this. So if we do all of this uh, number crunching which you see uh, outlined uh, at the bottom of page 115 in your text you see that we get approximately 5.5 for the uh, sum of the areas of these two regions. So uh, this is going to be a, a short video where we're just going to do these two example problems uh, of finding the area between two curves uh, as we did uh, in these two examples. So this concludes uh, this first video.